I've always wanted to be on the stage. But guess what? We were at 50s. We were not welcome in white places. But then I heard about this contest that would choose one black girl to go to Miss Universe. All African Americans hoping that they can enter into that contest with the white. When we would walk with our hats and our gloves and our clothes, it's beautiful, you know. But they would tell us, you know, when you go for that other contest, you're not going to have as much fun as you're having here. Because you always had to think about your color. This was the end of the 50s, the beginning of the 60s, the decade of civil rights movement. There it was. Martin Luther King, all African Americans marching all over the country, asking for equality. We were starting to fight against racial discrimination. I thought, I want to be part of that. Today, Miss Universe preliminary pageant isn't just another beauty contest, but one that clearly marks progress as initial steps are being taken to place one of our lovely young ladies in the world acclaimed Miss Universe beauty pageant. I, I couldn't remember much, I was just so happy. And we were just so excited and we would stay up all night talking, you know, and our, and our, house, our room mothers are, you know, on the, each floor had a room mother. And uh, she would say, you're not gonna be right for the next day if you don't go to sleep. And we just had a ball. So we went backstage and all, and everybody was nervous, and people were practicing singing and dancing and all of that. And then Sammy Davis came back, and he loved tall women. So he came over to me <laughs> and gave me a hug and all. And so he said, I really hope you win, Miss, Miss L.A., California, you know. And then I won Miss California. And they, when they called me, they said, um, Mary Lee Franklin, you know. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> My relatives came from all over, and my grand-grandmother, she was about 103, and she was just so, so, so proud of me. You know, I could just see her in the front row and just smiling, you know, because uh, she told me of days of slavery, you know, and here her niece was standing there with a trophy and going on to the trial for Miss Universe. And, and some of them would come back and say, Mary Lee, you're close. I mean, you are, you're, you have a lot of points. You know, they come back and tell you, you have a lot of points. Keep it up, keep it up. And so I said, oh my goodness, you know, I might have a chance. But somewhere in my head, I feel bad about now in my mind. Because you're going to have to, you're going to have a whole different way Things that are probably going to happen, maybe some name calling. You know, what are those niggers doing here? So these things, you know, could happen. And even downtown Los Angeles when we went in restaurants. And you go to the hotels there and you could perform, but you could not eat there or you could not stay there. Like one instance I remember, I was, it was called May Company then. Uh, and we had to go, I think they wanted us to have certain type of hats. And this white lady came over, what are you doing looking at these hats? You can't buy them. And my house mother, she just kept nudging me like, don't, <laughs> don't react, you know. And so things like that was happening during the contest, you know, when they take us shopping. The things that we hear and see, and you might have to take this out with the way what I see them doing to the African American president. No respect. And it's still there. And I saw that when I was coming through. And it hurts. Being called monkey, things like that, it hurts. It's 
it's it's very difficult. It, it comes up in you that it just hurts and then rage and you just, you know, learn to just pray because I trust in God and that's what I did a lot of, you know, praying. And uh, even when I moved here and they were saying, what is, what is she doing here? And I turned and I said, I was born here in California, you know. You know, things like that, it still comes up. And that, that little rage that from going way back, oh, we had to fight and we're still doing it. But we have to have love. Tell them now that I don't like what you're saying. You won't take my spirit. And if I can show anything to the younger people and to my grandchildren, don't let them step on your spirit. And don't get all angry and all this smile at them. Put your head up and learn all you can. Like I see you beautiful young people doing now.